Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my weekly Sunday vlog for March 24th, 2019. In this video, we're going to talk about the updates. What video games, what DVDs, what Blu-rays, what toys, what CDs did I buy recently? We're going to talk about all those for today. Did I watch any movies this past week? Did I finish any video games this past week? I'll give you guys my reviews and my thoughts in this video. We'll also do Q&A and shoutouts. As a matter of fact, let's do the shoutouts now. Hey, what's up, Ashley and Karen? Thank you for watching my videos. Shout out to you guys. Hope for the best for you guys in the future. How about my bros? Shout out to the guys who play games with me. Like Jesse, uh, uh, Paul, uh, Hector, Randy TV and I, we were playing uh, games on our mobile phones earlier this week. My cousin Joseph. Yeah, shout out to all you guys and thanks for hanging out with me and all that stuff. All right. Uh, yeah, and uh, if you guys want to shout out, you can comment, and I'll give you guys a shout out next week, alright? Let's go ahead and talk about the movies I watched this past week. I saw uh, one of the Leprechaun movies, because this past week was St. Paddy's Day. So I figured, hey, in celebration of St. Paddy's Day, let's watch one of the Leprechaun movies. You know what I saw? I saw Leprechaun Origins. I haven't seen it yet, so I decided to give it a chance. This movie's from 2014. Ugh, I didn't like it at all. Not, it, it's nothing compared to previous Leprechaun movies, you know? The Leprechaun was this mindless monster who reminded me of Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Like, that's what it looked like. And then it didn't say a word. It didn't really interact with all the, It just ran around and just slashed up people, you know? <laughs> it slashed up the kids in, in, the, in the movie. Um, the previous Leprechaun movies, like, yeah, he, he had dialogue. He had some personality. You know, he was funny. Uh, Leprechaun Origins, he didn't do that. And then they, uh, they made a new one, so th this seven film collection is outdated. But, uh, yeah. If you have a choice to see Leprechaun Origins, uh, don't do it. <laughs> I also saw this past week, Kingsman the Golden Circle. I did not see this when it originally came out on theater, in theaters. So, uh, I, I finally saw it last night, actually. I loved it. Um, there were some cool action scenes. The villain, played by Julian Moore, she was she was evil, man, absolutely evil. She was she she's a psycho. <laughs> um, some disappointments is that um, Channing Tatum's character with the, when they joined the Statesman, um, he wasn't in there a lot. Like he kind of introduced the characters to the world a little bit, and then he. he he got drugged up and then the, he went to sleep. <laughs> so, so he's like, like, where? I thought Chanting had a bigger, bigger role. But I like the story. I like the action sequences. At one point, it was like little twists and turns. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he was working for the bad guys and stuff like that, you know? So, uh, if you haven't checked out Kingsman Golden Circle, check it out. Okay? I had the first movie. Where is that? Here it is. So, I got. First Kingsman on uh, on DVD. Here's the second one. Okay, so my Kingsman collection video. There you go. <laughs> Those are the only two movies now. I did finish one video game this past week. I got it. And I finished it in like a day. Like it only took me like uh, I would say four or five hours just to beat this game. I played Snoopy's Grand Adventure from the Peanuts movie. Um, it's a side-scrolling game. And you collect jelly beans and stuff like that. It's a super easy game. Super easy. All right. They have like boss fights. Um, they're like no problem. <laughs> Some of them boss fights like you just need to run uh, away from it. You know, the, don't let it catch up to you and stuff. And then get, get all the jelly beans in the way. I didn't collect all the jelly beans. Um, and oh, by the way, there's also achievements in the game. I'm pretty sure if I got this game on PlayStation or on Xbox, I would have gotten some achievements. At least 17, because at the end of the game, there's like 20-some trophies, uh, achievements in the game, and I got like 17 of them. So I probably would have gotten 17 out of the 20-something trophies or achievements in the game if I got it for PlayStation or, or Xbox. But I got it for 3DS here. I got these two together. They were like $11 for both of these, okay? So I was like, what, five, uh, less than $6 for two of these games? That's great. I already played this one, by the way. I already played Lego, uh, Lego Movie uh, video game on um, uh, PlayStation Vita. I got it for the Vita. And I got it for the 3DS. And luckily, because uh, I got these used, whoever got this game before me already finished the game. So all, all the levels are unlocked already. So if I have a, a craving to play, 
uh, the Lego Movie video game, it's here, okay? But this one, I, I raised the save game, and I played it from the beginning, and I finished it in just a few hours, okay? Also, from Cash America Pawn Shop, for eight bucks, uh, this is my haul now, where, 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 that's all I did this past week. Uh, I got The Enemy Within, Batman game from Telltale Games. Uh, I played the first one. If you want to see my gameplay of it, uh, there's like one video on YouTube with like four or five of them on uh, on Twitch. Okay, there's like clips on YouTube, but if you want to see the full gameplay, it is on Twitch. Okay, so looking forward to playing this. It's only eight bucks if you get it at uh, a at, uh, GameStop because I, I I looked it up before I, I actually bought it in, the, in the, at the pawn shop. It would be, be like twenty bucks. So I'm glad I got it for eight dollars. Okay. I got one CD this past week. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is on clearance, two bucks. I recently got the DVD of this uh, just a couple weeks ago. I figured in the future, maybe for Christmas or something, I do a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer collection. So I got the DVD, I got the movie, I got the, the soundtrack CD now, and maybe in the future I'll pick up like one of those PVC figures and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. This past week, they had a, a sale at Half Price Books. And this was, for some reason, at Half Price Books. I saw it. I was like, unbelievable. Got for $5, man. Undertaker. One of those uh, handheld games. I got a whole collection of these, by the way. If you ever want to see me make these, um, the, like, the Tiger handheld games and stuff like that, I have a collection of those. I never made a video about those. I got, like, Mortal Kombat. I got like a Batman game. I got like Street Fighter. I got like a, a Michael a Michael Jordan basketball game and stuff like that. Uh, I got Jurassic Park. Like I don't know if you guys want to see like a handheld uh, one of these things, uh, like a Tiger handheld video game collection. I don't know. I gotta dig it up. It's somewhere in my room. <laughs> All right. DVDs and Blu-rays I bought this past week. You would not believe. I went to this pawn shop. And they were like, um, uh, DVD, uh, uh, DVDs are $1 each or four for $3. And then there was another deal. Blu-rays are $3 each. So I, I got this. I, I don't think they realized that it was a, a, a box set, you know? It should have cost more, but they, they, they thought it was just like a regular movie. So $3 for the six Star Trek original motion picture collection, Okay. Uh, all six movies, three bucks at the pawn shop. It includes the original motion picture, Route to Khan, Search for Spock, Voyage Home, Final Frontier, and Undiscovered Country. Okay, all those movies on Blu-ray, three dollars. Okay, this one has Nemesis, Generations, uh, First Contact, Insurrection. There you go. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe Blu-rays for $3. Yeah. Okay. What a great deal. This has got to be at least $20, $30 if you buy it in stores. Okay. And the condition is not too bad either. <clears throat> So yeah, DVDs are one dollar each, but you can get four for. Uh... Actually, this, these are the four. This is from a different store. Okay, so here are the four DVDs I got. I got Miss Congeniality starring Sandra Bullock. Got movies one and two in there. Okay, they're in slim cases, and unfortunately, they're in full screen. They're not widescreen. Okay, I got Finding Forrester. Starring Sean Connery. I saw this movie a long time ago in, in, in school. It's about uh, a writer, okay? So we watched it in uh, English class, okay? We got Super Size Me. I actually have this movie already, but uh, it doesn't come with a box, okay? So now I got the packaging. And this is, this is worth it for me, man. For $1, I got all four of these movies. Pineapple Express, The Interview, The Night Before, and this is the end. The Night Before is the only movie in this set that I have not seen yet, okay? But I never owned these movies, so it's nice to own them, okay? For a dollar, heck, why not? You guys always ask me for, like, 
horror hauls and stuff like that. I got the I Know What You Did Last Summer Trilogy for five bucks. All three movies. That's not a bad deal. I Know What You Did Last Summer. Still know and always know. Okay. Sometimes they get the wrong. Nope. That's all right. I still know what you did last summer. Good. Sometimes the, the, uh, the Google, you go to these pawn shops and they have the wrong disc in there. Okay. Let's do Q&A. <clears throat> Uh-oh. I only have 10% battery left on my, um, on, on, my, uh, on my phone. We got an update. So I'll just go through these questions, and I'll answer them until the phone uh, goes dead. <laughs> I gotta update my browser, too. Okay, Brady Boy asks, are you doing a March Madness bracket? Yes. As a matter of fact, it's on my YouTube channel already. It's got a picture of uh, what's going on here. Okay. It's got a March Madness 2019 My Bracket. I got... My bracket's already blown, man. <laughs> My bracket's already blown. Okay, next one. Kong! Well, uh, that's, there's no question there. Marvel Ben. David, have you seen Avengers Endgame new trailer? Yes, I have. <clears throat> Sniper Bear. We got chemistry questions here. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. David A. Qua, can you do Max Payne? No, thank you. I'm straight. <laughs> uh, the Dark Knight. I love your comedy. You're the one who's coming out fresh from his family. Oh, you're, you're welcome. Okay. Uh, no question there. PB and J. Chris Abbott. Okay, here's the actual question. Have you watched the trailer for a new Crash Team Racing game coming in June? No, I have not. And uh, I'm not really that interested in it. <clears throat> you should record chemistry tutorials on YouTube. That's from Carlos. Uh, I don't think anyone would watch it. Would you watch it? I got a couple videos of me uh, like teaching stuff. And uh, no one's watching it. <laughs> Danny Boy, do you think digital games will take over physical? Yes. Maybe they'll coexist, you know, like uh, like vinyl records. Like what? I thought that those would be gone by now, and they're still making them. <laughs> so who knows? They'll probably like coexist, you know? Uh, we want your games, Ethan says. We want your games that you scream, uh, a stream on Twitch on your YouTube. Please, Red Player One is a good movie. Okay, uh, I think in the last video, I asked you guys if I should uh, up upload some of my uh, Twitch live streams onto YouTube, and, and Ethan says yes. Michael Stack. Hey, Dave, I was wondering if in next Sunday vlog we could see Titus. I think it would be cool to have him in a Sunday vlog. Oh, I, I, I completely forgot about that. He's not home here. He's not here right now. PV&J, thanks for asking me. Here's another one for you. Who is your favorite WWE superstar or just professional wrestling in general of all time? Uh, the Undertaker. He just saw my Undertaker uh, little handheld game right there. Oh, Undertaker is actually here in Houston right now. Well, not in Houston. He's in uh, Friendswood. Friendswood, Texas. It's about an hour-ish away from where I live. Um, but he's there signing autographs. If you want an autograph and a photo with him, it's $300, man. $300. So uh, that's why I'm not going. Maybe there'll be another opportunity in the future. <clears throat> My favorite GTA is San Andreas. Cool. Jason Weaver. Can you watch a few Power Rangers seasons and talk about them? Dude, I have a... Uh, there's probably like seven videos about Power Rangers on my YouTube channel. I got toys. I got action figures. I got tons of the seasons. Look at this. Power Rangers galore. Look at that. I got the movies. I got the series. I got the DVDs. And you haven't seen them? Man, you've been missing out, man. You've been missing out. I, I don't think you've seen those yet. Go ahead and watch those older videos. I got a whole bunch of Power Ranger videos on my YouTube channel. Graham UK, have you ever thought about making a list of all the DVDs you have so you don't buy it again by mistake? That has happened a bajillion times, by the way. I would buy the same movie over and over again. <laughs> I got like three copies of, uh, 
of uh, Dark Knight Rises. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, I'll probably have to do that in the future, but I'll, that's something I do by myself. I'm not going to live stream myself taking inventory of my DVDs. Mohammed, it has been a while, David. Will you buy Hitman 2? We want to see you stream playing it. I got the the demo for it. Um, yeah, I'll play, uh, I'll, uh, play Hitman 2 eventually. Kermit the Frog here? Do you like Kermit the Frog? Uh, yes, I do like Kermit the Frog. Yeah! Total Jinx, are you a UFC fan? Not really. I mean, I do have some UFC DVDs here. Let me show you. Where'd you go? Here. We got some UFC. This is like the other section. So everything here is WWE. These are all, all uh, you know, Raw, uh, the pay-per-views, WrestleMania, uh, Royal Rumble, uh, Survivor Series, stuff like that. And over here, we got the UFCs and the TNAs. You know, someone tell David to do a live stream today. He's always like that. I'm glad he shows up in my live streams. Michael Abel, will you buy any more Godzilla movies? Will you do an updated Godzilla collection video? Yeah, probably right, right before the new movie comes out. The new one that has like everyone in it. Looking forward to that one. Do any of your students watch your videos? A uh, couple of them, yeah. But some, a lot of them, they like don't care. <laughs> they, 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 they see me all day, and then when they go home, you know, they, they don't want to see me anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kevin Boston, why do you still buy physical DVDs and Blu-rays? There are a ton of services to watch movies that I'm, that I'm going to watch because I could go on all day. Oh, well, there's a bunch of things that are not on on uh, Netflix and Hulu and stuff like that. You know? Uh, let's see. Hi, David. Did you direct Bride of Chucky? No, I didn't. Sean McMahon says, Did you direct Bride of Chucky? No. Kermit the Frog here. What's up, bro? David Taylor. Why won't you play God of War? Because I already spoiled it for myself. I watch all the video on YouTube. I have no desire to play the new God of War. Funny, because he asked... I answered that question already, and he, he comments on, on, on the video where I answered this question and asked it again. <laughs> uh, I'm in case. Hey, dude, will you play your PS4? And will you get WWE 2K19 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4? Will you stream the games on YouTube? Uh, I said that uh, I would get Call of Duty Black Ops 4 when I get 70,000 subscribers. Like, that, yeah, <laughs> that, that's the deal. <laughs> And I, I only have like 62,000. It's been stuck like that for uh, probably like half a year now. And uh, yeah, I said that when you get 70,000, I'll, I'll play Black Ops 4 for you guys. So uh, yeah. First, my favorite rapper. Okay, this is from Yuzi and X Gang. My favorite rapper, um, probably Snoop Dogg. Yeah, I like Snoop Dogg the most. Okay. On the video, they are going to get. Batman vs. Ninja Turtles DVD on... Oh, yeah. I'll probably get it. I, I got the comics, by the way. I don't know if you ever saw my uh, videos of it. Of me hauling. Uh, that's from Emilio. Someone says, hi. Jolly Town. It's got the Jolly B uh, uh, on there. I started playing Alakine's Gun on PS4, but I got bored of it. We'll probably get back to it sometimes. Have you tried Agents of Mayhem? No, I have not. I think it's from the same people who made those, uh, what's that one open world game? Like, Get Out of Hell is one of them. Like, what's that? Saints Row! Yeah, Saints Row. Pretty cheap right now. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool video. Thank you. I didn't feel the way I'm going to That's not a question. Okay, I think that's all the questions from, uh, last week's vlog. Well, thank you for watching, guys. That is it for this week. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, uh, uh, I need to give it guys a little warning. So next week, I'm getting like text messages and stuff like that right now too. My sister, she's uh, about to have her baby. So if I am like out of commission for a couple weeks or whatever, uh, that's the reason, okay? I'm probably like over at, at my sister's place taking care of the baby or whatever. Probably having, like, the, the three-day party, 
of the one week old party. You know, my family's like that. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Be sure to spread the word and share the videos and rate, comment, and subscribe and all that. Talk guys. Oh, there it is. I got another notification uh, from the group, group uh, text. My sister could have her baby any day now. Any day now. Could be, I could be right at the hospital recording videos of, uh, of uh, her coming out with the baby. All right. Goodbye, everyone.